Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Mateo's Corner. Uh, today we are going to be taking a look at a PS1 game I actually have very uh, fond memories for, though I never really played it a lot. Um, I just remember it existing. And that is uh, Centipede, a remake of, like, a reimagining of the classic game that Atari tried to make on the PlayStation 1. And uh, they heavily went into, like, the alien aspect. And it, it it's weird. It's a very weird game, very odd. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to check it out today because it's been in my head for, like, a couple days now. The 1st of 5th. We're on the Weedom world. The fifth of fifth. Centipedes and their cohorts have already raised a number of buildings in our city by the river. Rush to save the survivors with all speed and defend the buildings which still stand. The very survival of our people depends on the dexterity of your trigger finger. Uh, defend houses. Your shooter is equipped with an automatic magic relocator to help you rescue your brethren. Just bump into them with the shooter and they'll be teleported to oh, safety. Wow, so they so they just made this spaceship to fight the centipedes. And our main character is just apparently just this dopey kid. Jeez. But when you're asked to save the world, you don't ask why. This poor guy. Wow, I actually feel really bad for this main character. They they just grabbed him and shoved him. I wonder if in later on in the game there's like an actual plot where like maybe that guy accidentally brought the centipedes here or maybe the main villain. I don't really know how this works, but... Wait a minute. Why are there high scores in adventure mode? That doesn't make any sense. How many times can a wee druid use his mystical freezing power? How would I know this? Five times. Why would I know this kind of Q&A? Oh god, here it is. Alright, so as you can see, we're in our little ship. It uses very weird... Uh, controls aren't... The controls aren't weird, they're just not very, um... They're very weird. In terms of, like, how chunky it feels. I don't know if that's even the right word, but... Just go with it. Oh, there's the spider. Let's get him. So this is just like normal centipede, right? There's, there's different colored mushrooms, there's... The, the different kinds of centipedes, they change color and they get bigger or whatever. There's the jumping fleas, the spiders, everything is here. Gotta be careful of that centipede though, he's pretty quick. Gotta get him stuck. Lots of power up, I kinda want that. Wait, there's another centipede? I'd rather like four. Cool, I think we're done. Um. Wow, this is, um. Oh, shoot. Bummer. Yep, one hit deaths. Such a common occurrence in these things. Just like the old game. Oh. I want that power. Okay, so now that the centipedes are all dead. Oh, no power. Um, we can continue. But yeah, like I said, this is kind of a weird game, right? I mean, it's... Oh, that's interesting. I mean, it's cool that they thought of this, like, reimagining and everything, but... And maybe if they had some better controls, it probably wouldn't have been as bad to control and whatever and play, but... Ooh, what's that thing? 
Oh, it's an extra life. Okay. I actually uh, remember renting this game um, from a Hollywood video, right? By, which is kind of like Blockbuster for those of you who are wondering what that is. Because uh, we had one like right near the house, and um, a lot of games I actually played were either from there or even like demo discs. That, I think this actually was also on a demo disc, or maybe it was included as a demo in another game, because they used to do that too. Where they'd be like, here's this game, but you could also, like, play a demo for this game. Like, I think Gex, one of the Gex games had, like, Apogee the Heartless, or... Where's the... Where's the centipede? Are we done? Maybe we're done. Oh, we're done. Alright. careful. Oh! Oh, that was the end of the level. Huh. That was kind of abrupt. Crack of Doom. We going to Mordor now? Uh, our ravine outpost has been surrounded by the centipedes, forcing some of our people to flee in terror. Fly in and rescue as many of your brethren as possible, dispensing with the centipedes and their minions in short order. Okay. Watch the skies for a new winged adversary. You should find some special people, weaponry, whatever. Okay. Cool. Never would I have thought that I would, uh, play this game again, but here we are. You know, I think, um, there, when I was younger, um, I had some neighbors that I'd hang out with all the time, and they, they had a PS2, and we would play games all the time. Like, we'd borrow each other's stuff. I think they had this game at one point, or maybe we just rented it and we played it, like, for like 10 minutes and we're like okay we're done <laughs> i think um oh so just to clarify the, the version that i'm playing right now is um off of uh the ps3 because a long time ago, uh, I think I mentioned this when I was playing Hercules. Um, oh, that's a new enemy. Oh, the spider got me. I was so focused on that thing, I didn't see the spider. Darn. Um, oh, there's the scorpions. There's the mushrooms that'll kill you if you touch them. Jeez, there's just so many things jumping out. Um, I can't even focus on what I was trying to say. Uh, oh, right, the PS3 thing, yeah. So, this is a copy that I bought digitally for my PS3, uh, back when they were still doing that with, like, the PS1s and the PS2s and stuff. Or, the, yeah, PS1, PS2. And, um, I don't know, I, I bought it because I was like, I kind of, I actually want to play it, and I, I do remember getting past just the first level and just being like, yeah, I'm, I'm not interested in this. I'm done. Oh, I think we lost some of our brethren. I think that's what those black mushrooms are. I think two of them died already. Oh, well. Not, not too big of a deal, I guess. But more people died. So it probably took too long to get over here. Or they're just there to be a troll. That could be a thing too. Never know.
Huh, what's this do? Oh! That's kinda neat. Little spread shot, in case you're getting surrounded. That's actually really nice to make sure there's nothing behind you. Ooh, 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 that was close. Ow. Alright, so now what? Ow. Wait. Can I get up there? I can get up there. Alright, let's get you. controls are very finicky. That's the other word I was trying to think of earlier, finicky. Okay. How do we get up here? Heck is music. Can I please get up there? There we go. Oh, jeez. Alright. Come here. Touch it. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. I was thinking that was the end of the level. Of course it wasn't. That is really nice when they get stuck like that. Ah, oh, I forgot to hit my circle thing. Bummer. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not trying to beat this whole game. I'm, I just wanted to do just like a quick little rehash as to what the hell I was dealing with in this game. Oh. Okay, I think we're done, right? my life back at least. Huh. Is that a castle? Must be. Huh. Alright, well. Whatever. Yeah, I think I, I I think this is a one and done video, guys. I I don't think I'm gonna play more of this game after we're after I centipede armies added a new fiend with ranks. Insect can drill through anything, including gates. Some of these fearsome insects have been spotted near our city in the mountains. Defend the city and the land near it from the centipede onslaught with a watchful for the enemy. The fleas and centipedes always seem to attack downward from the same location. Blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. That's just loading. Yeah, it's not a bad game. I just think that there's nothing else to see here. Um, yeah, I, I just think trying to play more of this would make no sense. I'm going to try to do maybe one more level. Maybe one more level. This one right here. And then we'll we'll see how I feel. All right. Last level for today. Here we go. Yeah, 
yeah, one, I, honestly, once this is done, I'm gonna probably just uninstall the game from my PS3 and not even think about it ever again. <laughs> I will say this, oh, it's freaking got me. Huh. I will say this though, if I got this game when I was younger, as like a present or something, I wouldn't, I'd be fine with it, I think. I think I, I definitely would have kept this game in the library because the, if I had a physical copy of it, because the, how did I die? What happened? I didn't shoot him or anything. Heck. That was weird. Oh, jeez. There's just stuff everywhere. Okay, well, we, we're done, right? I can leave? What? Oh. That's weird. I, I do like the um, the art style on the front cover of the game, if, if you've ever seen what that looks like. Um, I think the PS1 era had a really interesting uh, 3D model look to things. Like, it just looks so different, you know? And I actually really like how that looked so different. It was such a cool looking... Like, not just this game, but like a lot of games. Some of it looked really... Oh, stupid fleas. Some of it looked really jank, and it was really just off-putting. Like, if you play um, Tekken... Like, any of the early Tekken games, like Tekken 1, 2, and 3, that 3D just looks terrifying in the cutscenes, certain cutscenes, depending on who you're playing as and stuff. But, um... Some games like this, like, benefited. Like, the idea that... You know, they're alien bugs. Actually looks pretty cool in, in that weird PS1 early 3D 32-bit style, you know? Or even N64, because I think this came out on the... I know this came out for the Dreamcast. Oh, these are the burrowing ones, huh? Um, but yeah, I, I know about the... It came out for Dreamcast, I think? This came out for PS... Not PS, the N64. I know that the the Game Boy Color had a version of this game, but it was just the original Centipede game. Like, it, it was just a fancy new box for exactly the same game, basically, as the arcade classic one. Oh, that actually was kind of short. That was nice. All right, well, well, like I said, uh, I think we're we're done here, right? I thank y'all so much for for joining me today to play some Centipede on the. Um, I just I have no drive to continue this game. I I I, I feel like we've seen what needs to be seen, and um, it's not a bad game. I just feel meh. The thing with this game is that I don't like it and I don't hate it. Like, I think it's cool. I'm glad I played it, but I wouldn't probably play this again. So, anyway. Um, you all have a good one. Uh, if you like the game, I'd say check it out. Why not? Uh, it's not terrible. Uh, hope you all have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.